Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about uh, continuing on making our podcast. We're going to talk about adding other features in like music and stuff. Now, we've been talking about making podcasts with GarageBand. That's this app right here. Remember, you can always find it uh, where you left it if you have it in a specific folder. If not, you can always swipe down from the middle of the screen, do a search in here for GarageBand the top of the screen, and you can open it up that way too. Uh, now, we've talked about this before in GarageBand. When you make a new song, you're able to um, have different files. We're going to go ahead and open one up that we can mess with today. Yes, there's going to be a little bit of a delay, but that's okay. Uh, here's what we kind of worked on last time. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex Rowe and Sharon Moore. We Notice that while we're playing, of course, you can see that the the yellow or the white arrow is moving across the top, and you can see the different aspects uh, of the the components of our podcast moving along. We have the top line being our voice. Let me just mute the synths. That's today on genetics. Now, genetics are pretty fun, aren't you they? You can drop that volume down. Bring the synth volume back up like again. Like if you well. bred with someone else or their kids it look like. Okay, we've got the ability to move that back and forward by using this little white line as well, if you're wondering. Um, I, I am also in the setting right now where I'm looking at it uh, at the top. It should be, oh, it's actually not showing up. I believe it's the mic, though, if you tap on that mic up there at the top. There you go. So you might be seeing a couple of different functions. If you tap on the mic or the these three little lines at the top, see so how I'm clicking that, toggling that on and off again? There's that. Okay, um, anyways, just a couple of little features to show you where we're at, how to navigate through here. Anyways, um, we're learning about how we can... Uh, add other elements. So we have our voice along the top where it says narrator right here and we also have another element called synths underneath that too. Um, if we are in, oh, there we go, if we are in GarageBand and we want to add other elements, I'm going to delete this synth so you can just see this. Double click on it, click delete. Okay, if we want to, we're going to make sure that we have which element we want to have highlighted. So we're going to highlight synths. I am going to open up, the easiest way to do this to add music is to use the loop library. That's this button up here at the top that kind of looks like a little loop that's looping around. Tap on that. In here we have um, elements that we can put into the directly into our our uh, podcast. So these Apple loops, if you might not, if you don't have them, you can download them. You can choose um, what you want that to sound like based on an instrument, based on a genre, based on other descriptors. If you want it to be calm or something, we can talk on calm. Let's do a search for that. See if there's anything that pops up. Or if we go into here, like maybe I, I had it on electronic before. Um, let's see. Let's do another search for calm here. Calm wind synth layers. If I tap on that, I can do a preview and 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 uh, see what it sounds like. If I like it, I've got a couple different options. I can either grab it and just drag it over to the area, or I can also, if I really like it, I can tap on that heart and it'll be one of my favorites. So just to keep that in mind, let me just go ahead and grab it. I'm going to grab that that and see how when I drag it over to my main window it just automatically pops into place. Okay, now I have chill wind synth layers that are going to be behind my voice. Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex Rowe and Sharon Moore. that. We're doing a podcast today on genetics. Now, genetics Something, else Something else to pay attention to. Something else to pay attention to. When we have our voice going, we don't want the music to be too loud. We don't want it to be louder than our voice should be in the podcast itself. So we can choose to uh, drag the volume up and down right here so that it's not as loud, not too loud over or too much louder than our voice itself. So I usually do about half and what half. you might look like if you half the height. I, I do about half the um, the amount of volume for my my instruments as for my voices, just as a general rule of thumb. One other thing to be aware of: see how this pull in, this box just kept on going all the way until my voice ended. If I don't want that to be the case, I can drag however long I want this music to be, based on where I want it to end. Maybe I want it to end about right here because this looks like a calm spot in the music or in in my podcast I can have it end about right right there 
And then if I wanted to add something else in, let's say we want to add oh, the contemplative synth, contemplative synth. I'll drag that over there into the next line so I can have that show up right after the other one. Just drag it in. There we go. It will even make an extra layer if I need to, an extra. See how it made another synth right here? So now... With someone else or their kids it looked like? Yikes, could be good, could be scary. Could be real scary. I mean, I'm glad this is a... So there you go. You can see how it shifted from the Calm Wind synth layers to the Contemplative synth. You also have lots of other elements you can throw in. Um, I think that there are sound effects in here as well. Um, I can't remember where those are at right now. Effects. No, that's with your voice. You're able to throw those on. Different effects. We don't need that. Maybe it's in here. Is it in one of these? I forget. Keyboard sound library. Download instruments. This is where you can download different instruments. I think that there's a way to get sound. Transition sound effects. No, where is it? can't remember exactly where it is. I thought that there was a sound effects button in here. Um, maybe it's not. I don't know where it's at exactly right now. Oh, there they are. There's sound effects right down there. So if you like different things, different sound effects, you can check around for some different ones. Whatever. These are all kind of fun fun, simple little sound effects that you can throw into your podcast if you want to, like a cymbal swell. Nice. We can throw that in if we want to. Just by dragging it, getting it, pulling it up, and dragging it over. Just like we did before. Okay, I can choose to shorten that up as well, so I don't have to have the whole entire thing. I can add other parts to it. There we go, so it kind of builds. Like, yikes, could be good, could be scary. Could be real scary. I mean, I'm glad this is a podcast. You really can't see my face, but it's, it's a good... <laughs> you bred with someone else or their kids... Some other fun elements there that you can add in are sound effects. Again, sound effects were found over here. If I open up genres, let me show you. If I open up genres, tap on sound effects, it's found down here where it says sound effects. I was using electronic also. I like using these genres quite a bit. Um, they're, they're pretty fun. You can also clear it by using that X too, so you can look through whatever else you want to add in for sound effects, fun little things. Anyways, if you wanted to add other elements in too, you could add live instruments in down here or recorded instruments if you wanted to make your own sounds down there too. Really awesome. It's super easy. It's fun to mess around with. Um, makes it so that anybody can create really cool simple, fun podcasts. Anyways, just another little hint here about making your podcast spiced up a little bit more with sound effects and music in GarageBand. All right, there you go.